try and do things that make you feel fear. So that way you get used to it, you can overcome it, you can deal with it, you can utilize it. Where, you know, like this, okay, fear, uh, how do you overcome fear? Step, go, right? It's essentially like take action, be brave yeah. in the face of fear, yeah. right? But if there's no fear, it's kind of like, hmm, you're not really being brave. You're not, you know, so you say, yeah, I want you to be afraid of failure. Oh yeah, be afraid of failure, but you still got to step. In order to embrace the fear, what do you do? You step, you, step. you go into it. What's up beasts? Back again with another Mindset Monday. This week we are talking about do you underestimate your own ability? Now with the start of last week coming in, there was a workout that came up that put me in an uncomfortable position. It was a workout that I knew my limits and I refused, if not even tried to avoid pushing those limits because I knew that there was a good chance that I would fail. Now, I'm lucky that I have such great friends, people around me that are gonna help motivate me to, I guess, talk myself out of having that terrible mindset of, you might fail. There's a chance you're gonna to fail today and you don't wanna fail. So for me, to avoid this workout and to avoid even attempting it at the set amount of weight, I was staying in the green zone. The green zone being the safe area, the area that I know that I can be comfortable in without having to worry too much about failing. That's not where you wanna be though. Not only in training, but in life, you always wanna push into that red zone. If you never take any risks, you're never gonna get any rewards. You're never gonna know your capabilities, your limits. You never know when you're gonna fail. And that's the main thing with training. Training is just all about failing. It's all about learning how far you can push yourself to the point where you physically can't do anymore. Not mentally, physically. And that was the problem I was having this week. I was, I saw that weight, I saw that workout, and I was like, I'm gonna stay in the green zone. But luckily I had Evan, luckily I had Jess to tell me, hey, give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? And I did. I gave it a shot. I almost finished it. And the it, even the amount that I got into it, I was super proud. I've never snatched 100 kilos for more than one rep, let alone doing it four times in the space of four minutes. So it was very impressive for me to be able to push myself to that next level. Now with knowing, with underestimating your own ability, one thing that can be more prominent than anything is people's opinions or embarrassment. I know a lot of people, especially Jess, is more concerned about what people think about her. So in the moment, she will end up not pushing to her full ability, not going to failure, because seeing failure is like seeing weakness. But that's not the case, that's actually the opposite. People who tend to fail more often have a better understanding of their own capabilities and limits and are able to even push themselves further or even, in most cases, find out they've got more ability than they, than they knew they already had. In this situation, you just need to block out everything. You need to not worry about what old mate thinks, what Joe over there thinks, what Billy Bob thinks about your snatch, your clean and jerk, your run, how you look when you're on the assault bike, if you're a bit of, a bit of stomach showing. You need to not worry about that and focus on you. You're the only person that matters. Because if you don't focus on what's happening right now with yourself, you're never gonna know your capabilities, not your true capabilities. So this Mindset Monday was really focusing on something that I've been struggling with. Look, if you're actually struggling too with underestimating yourself, holding back, try little things. This week, I want you to try and take some risks. What I've been starting to do, which has really helped me out in this situation, is when it gets to training and I see something, I'm gonna try and do it a bit harder than I would normally. For example, if you see a set of toes to bar, or a set of push-ups, you normally know that you can get about 10 unbroken pretty good, but the workout calls for 30. See how many you can do before you break. This may not be the most efficient way or tactical way to do something, but you wanna find your own capabilities. Because if it gets to competition, and then there's 30 push-ups in a workout, and you've done them unbroken once before, there's a good chance that you're gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. I can do this. I've done it once before because I took that risk in training. There's no downside to taking risks in training because the whole point of training is to train yourself 
and to know your body well enough that when you go to competing, you know exactly what your limits are. That's when you can slow down. That's when you can strategize things a little bit more, when it gets to that competition. But if you're holding your abilities back and not finding exactly how good or how much you can do, you're just holding yourself back. Once again, like everything, strings on into life. If you always hold your abilities back, you don't give it 110% and show people what exactly you can do, you're just never gonna be satisfied and happy with how you live your lives. That's our Mindset Monday for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. Can't wait to see you guys next week. We've got so much stuff coming out. The Down Under CrossFit Championship, which we just went to, this video is pre-recorded. Of course, I can't record it while I'm down there. Uh, as well as we have another video coming out, which is more of a vlog style video that's fully recorded by my lovely girlfriend, Jess. Beautiful looking video, lots of editing going into it. That one will come out soon. Otherwise, guys, see you guys next Monday for some more motivation. Peace, beasts.